All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to diagnose a broken AC system. In the particular case of this AC system, we had two problems. One, the system was low in Freon, and two, we had a piece of ductwork up under the house that had fell down and was blowing all their air into the crawl space. So basically, if you want to figure out how I figure this out, I'm the man to do it for you. Let's go. All right, guys, the first thing I do on every service call, especially if it's no cooling, the first thing I do is go inside the house, um, set the thermostat for cooling, and basically I check my vents to make sure air is blowing. The reason I do that by checking the thermostat, you can pretty much uh, narrow down where your problem is because if your thermostat, especially if it's digital, if the if it's if if it's got a digital screen on it and um, you have the numbers and everything there, then you know your thermostat, you don't have a battery problem, you don't have uh, a float switch tripped, or, and you have power going to your thermostat. By checking actually your, um, uh, your blower motor, well, air coming out of the vents, that will basically tell you your blower motor is good. And on an air conditioning system on for the inside unit, the only thing that you have on there is your blower motor, your evaporator and your drain so if they have a no cooling call and um, your thermostat's on it's blowing air that tells me most of the time your problems outside so just in that quick little step your fan is on you can kind of go first check out your outside unit and more than likely that's going to be where your problem is so let's go in there and check that thermostat all right let's look at this thermostat Our thermostat has a delay. We'll turn it, make sure it's on cooling. It's on, it's set for 73. Let's turn it. This thermostat is not the best in the world. This is some. Let's wait for it to kick on. And let's see if it's blowing. Thermostat clicked. Means the AC is on. Let's go to one of our vents. Okay, we have air blowing out of the vents. All right, so like I say, the first thing we did is we checked the thermostat. Uh, we set the thermostat to cooling. Um, we made sure our fan come on. So more than likely, our problem is not with the inside part of the AC system. Our problem is going to be outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry you to the outside unit, tell you what I check, normally look for, and uh, basically see what's wrong with this thing. So we're walking around here now. And basically, our fan is running. You hear a little hum down at the bottom. That means our compressor is running. So more than likely, everything with this air conditioner seems to be running. So basically the complaint was um, the AC was not, was not keeping up. It was like getting 80 degrees in the house. So what I'm going to do, if everything's running, your compressor, your fan, and your blower, more than likely what your problem is, is going to be a... a situation where it's low in Freon. So let's check that Freon. This is not the easiest place to get to to check a Freon charge. Alright, so basically we have to get down here to our Freon lines. This is your low side. This is your high side. And so basically your low side, if you have a set of Freon gauges, your low side, your big hose will go to your blue port. Your high side will go to your red port. So let's hook those up. Uh, let's look at our gauges. All right, this is an R22 unit. 
and how you will figure out what your Freon is. I don't know if you can see it on here, but this is an old Goodman unit. So your more so your Freon on this is R22. Only on your newer units will you be, pretty much be having 410A or another type of Freon. But this is very easy to see to know this is low in Freon because it's probably about 80 degrees out here in North Carolina. Your low side is 50. And basically your temperature for this is below 30 degrees, which means is if, if this system runs for a long period of time, the inside coil and this line here will freeze up. And the customer was telling me that uh, they were noticing a lot of um, water on the inside of evaporator coil. Their furnace is actually located inside a closet and they were noticing a lot of water. So what was happening is this system here is low in Freon. So basically we're going to have to add Freon to this system. Now always make sure, I want to make this completely sure everybody understands this. Freon is not used up in an air conditioner like a car uses gas. If you're low, that means you have a leak somewhere in this system, which basically you need to recommend to the customer an electronic leak search. I don't really like doing leak seal, but at the very least, you can offer the customer leak seal because you just don't want to charge up an AC unit because eventually what that's going to do is going to leak out again and customers have to call back. Always, 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 if your system is low in Freon, always recommend some type of leak search. So basically what I'm going to do, let me get out from under this, this unit. I'm going to go and recommend the leak search to this customer, see what they want to do. Now you may be asking, Travis, are you going to show me how to charge the system up? No. I like to be very specific on on the videos I do, and plus, I've got to promote my videos in some on somehow. So, if you'd like to see that, come check out my video on how to charge AC systems, and you'll find out how to do that. All right, once we put Freon back in um, to a system, uh, because this customer. Um, basically wanted to have a leak seal done and basically we tried leak seal and we put freon in back for the customer um, always check your temperature drop either at your furnace or one of the vents to make sure you have a proper temperature drop for an ac system the proper temperature drop for an ac system is around 18 degrees so basically we're going to check our supply vents coming out and basically our return which is basically where your furnace is so basically, we're going to check and make sure we have an 18 degree temperature differential between those two temperatures. So let's go check that. You can also get your t uh, return temperature off of your thermostat. It's basically reading the house temperature. That should be what your return is. Um, the way this return is set up in this house is kind of hard to hard to check. But basically, if, if you can't check at the thermo thermostat, check where your furnace filter is and that'll get you return temperature. So let's check a supply. All right, guys, I was only getting about a 13 degree temperature drop and like I told you we needed a, a 18 degree temperature drop so there's something else going on with the system uh, we know that the Freon is good uh, we got a leak seal but something else is going on with the system and uh, basically when I went to check the the um, the temperature drop I noticed that the air in the vents didn't um, really feel like it's blowing out real good went to the furnace the, the blower is blowing really good uh, so we need to go in the crawl space and see what's going on. So come with me. So here you have the duct work. Let's find out. I already hear something. Oh, what do I see over here? 
What do I see over here? We have a piece of ductwork down. See that? And all the air is blowing up under the house. So, I got spider webs all over me. Give me. But, uh, hey, now we found the problem. The system was a low end free on, and it had a piece of ductwork down. So, let's get this customer fixed up and get them some AC. All right, we just got finished doing the duct work. Uh, I checked our temperature drop and we we're getting an exact 18 degree temperature drop. So basically the air conditioner is working fine and we're gonna have a happy customer. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. It means more to me than you know. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks guys.